get into this Beats Studio. <laughs> Let's get into this Beats Studio Buds review. I don't know what I was trying to say. So for the longest, I used AirPods, and then I did a video on the Power Beats Pro with Cam. Basically, it was a techie episode where I sit down with another creative and have them experience a piece of tech for the first time. But after I shot that video with him, I found myself using these more and more. So now that I've had the opportunity to check out the Beat Studio Buds, I had to question, am I gonna now find myself switching to these? <sighs> Let's get into the details and see. Now, in reference to what you get into the box, you'll find that you have your documentation, three sizes of soft silicone ear tips, a USB-C to USB-C charging cable, your Beat sticker, and your Beat Studio Buds. But the unique thing about these is that it's the first to offer simple one-touch universal pairing on iOS and Android. That's major, and we're gonna dive into what that looks like and the details of it. But in the meantime, let's talk a little bit about the design here of the actual earbuds. So this is the first pair of headphones that Beats has introduced that doesn't have, you know, any type of wiring that loops around the back of your neck or any type of wing tips that go around your ear. Instead, now you have a single earbud that you slip into your ear. And I love the case because the case is much smaller. It's much more travel friendly, easier to slip into your pocket. And for comparison's sake, it reminds me of a wider AirPods case. You know the AirPods case is a little bit more slender, whereas this one is a little bit more oval. But all in all, I much prefer this <laughs> instead of this. Because that was my one complaint with the prior Beats headphones in which I was using this case. Yeah, it's just so bulky. I just, uh, this was aggravating to carry around. And the earbuds do easily slip in and out of the case. Again, much like AirPods, there's a magnet inside, so it helps pull them into place. And it also has a micro venting hole that helps reduce pressure on the eardrum so you don't have that, you know, kind of stuffy feeling. Because of the way that these are designed, it helps eliminate that feeling or reduce it, which makes me happy to say that you can then comfortably wear these for hours. And it comes in three colors, black, red, or white. And I love the fact though that it looks so stealth in my ear. So like, you can discreetly wear these and they don't fall out your ear. So they're pretty, pretty snug and secure. God knows that hurts my head doing that. <laughs> For the video. And let's dive into some of the features here that um, come with these. So like I said at the beginning, this is the first to offer simple one-touch pairing for both Apple and Android devices. And with that, you can now locate these through apps like Find My on iOS or Find My Device on Android. And now when it comes to pairing, it's super easy. All you have to do is put it near the device in which you're trying to pair it with and follow the on-screen steps. On iOS, it's automatically detected and you just follow the on-screen prompts. Whereas on Android, you will have to download the Beats headphone app. And after you open up the application, the experience in terms of getting it paired is very much like that on iOS. Ultimately, you will have to press and hold the button found in the center of the headphones to pair it. And you'll notice the LED at the bottom starts to flash. Now, being that it can pair with Android and iOS, let's talk about what that experience could look like for you. So if I were using my iPhone right here and I had these paired to it and then I put it down and then I went over to my Android device here and started using it, it does not instantly pair to this. I do have to go, you know, to the Bluetooth setting and tell it to pair to this. So basically, it instantly pairs with the device it was last used with. Now, another thing in which this offers is different listening modes. So you have active noise canceling, which helps you tune the world out by canceling sounds around you. So you can just focus on whatever you're listening to. Whereas transparency mode does the reverse. It lets you tune into the world by allowing sounds of your surroundings back in. Now, when it comes to taking calls, it did perform okay, but I did have scenarios where, you know, sometimes when there were sounds in the background in which it was competing with, that people would say that I sound a little robotic. So example, I was driving and using, you know, one of these in my ear to conduct a phone call and it was raining outside and the person kept telling me like, I just sounded weird. I sounded like robotic. The other thing that this does is it takes advantage of spatial audio. And with spatial audio, it gives you an even more immersive listening experience. It's like you can hear the layers of sound, if that makes sense, like the separation of different things from the voice to the individual instruments. It gives a more refined experience. I know it can be a concept that's hard to grasp, but thankfully Apple has actually created a playlist on Apple Music with Zane Lowe, who does a really great job at breaking things down using two songs, so I would highly suggest you check that out. Now, and speaking of sound, I like the fact that when I pop these in, it does a really good job of just sealing off the sound. So for example, when it 
comes to background noise, let's say I'm sitting here at my computer and I'm typing. When active noise cancellation mode is on, I don't hear the click clack of the keyboard at all. When transparency mode is on, I hear a little bit of it. The noise cancellation setting does a really good job, I will say, at canceling out background noise. Like You're not gonna hear much of anything around you, which for me allows me to like really experience the music. Like I personally love listening to live concerts because I, I miss, I miss concerts, y'all. Like I'm so ready to go to like a Jasmine Sullivan concert. Oh, the vibes, a uh, her concert. So in the meantime, this is my way to enjoy those experiences in which I can't physically have right now. <laughs> so this helps a lot because it puts me in the center of the sound. Now when it comes to the actual earbuds inside here, the media controls are actually found on the letter B. So you do have to physically push the button in for it to respond. And thankfully, that doesn't cause any issues in doing so. If anything, to me, it makes you have a more secure fit because in essence, what you're doing as you're pushing those buttons in is you're pushing the earbud further into your ear. So if you're concerned about pressing the button and possibly dislodging it from its placement in your ear, I haven't had that happen, so you should be good to go. Something though I can say that I sometimes would experience with you know my prior Beats headphones is accidental touches on the controls. Thankfully with the way in which these are made and having that B kind of protrude out instead of being flushed amongst the headphone, it really eliminates and reduces the accidental touches that I was once experiencing. Now if you're curious about the application on my phone, it's called News In Bullets and it actually comes from today's sponsor. But for those of you that aren't familiar with it, they basically provide you with daily bullet points with the most important news. And lately I've been enjoying being able to read or listen to the news when I get a free moment, which is one of the things that I enjoy listening to with these headphones, because I personally like being able to handle my task while still getting the news delivered to me via audio. And while we're talking about it, there's a couple of things that I really like about the app. So one of those being that I'm able to tailor the news to what's important to me, even down to being able to choose the source in which it's coming from. I also like the clutter-free experience that you get here, so I can see things kind of straight to the point, no distractions or anything like that. And there's even a section that looks a little familiar with its real experience, and that's because it delivers the news by allowing you to quickly swipe through short vertical videos. And you'll also notice that you can like content in which you see, and you're able to block content that you don't want to see. In a nutshell, that's the application, but let's get back to the headphones. So it has a very discreet look. I really love that about it. You know, it's not bulky. It slightly protrudes out of the ear just a little bit, but not too much. It's a very clean design. And I like the fact that my fingers kind of naturally rest around the B when I go to press the button. So it just gives you more security when you're interacting with it. So touch controls, you press once to play or pause or to answer a phone call, or you can press twice to skip forward. Three presses is going to skip backward and a long press will cycle between active noise cancellation and transparency mode or just turning it off altogether. All right, so the way that you insert these is it has these like little handles, right? So it makes it a little easier to grab and pull out so you can actually grip on something. So the thing though is I notice sometimes I still manage to drop them, but whatever. <laughs> so to put it in, you just insert it and then push it forward. And that way you get a nice, secure, snug fit. You do the same thing on this side. Insert, push it forward. Hit the button. I'm in my zone. And you can customize the press and hold function per earbud with the option to set one as your voice assistant. And this can be done in the Bluetooth settings on iOS or within the app on Android, which is nice because you now have customization controls on Android as well. And for my iOS users out there, they get these. You can use Hey Siri to use hands-free voice activation. Now the app in which you use will give you device status such as battery levels. It's not gonna give you sound customization options, at least at this time. And something else you can get with the app is firmware updates. The battery. These will thankfully get you through the day. It gives you eight hours of listening time from each earbud with A and C off and 24 hours of playback with the charging case. Whereas if you're going to use noise cancellation mode, you're gonna get five hours of listening time and 15 hours combined with the case. But if you're in a pinch, no worries, you still have that five minute fast fuel charging that's gonna give you up to two hours of playback. Now these currently are available today and they start at $149.99. And if you had to ask me if they were worth it, I'd say yes. I like the fit of these. I like how comfortable they are. I love the sound production. Everything sounds rich and clear. Now, being the techie that I am and moving constantly back and forth between iOS and Android devices, this right here 
definitely helps. It definitely helps simplify things to me, especially when I'm already sometimes carrying two phones on me and I'm bouncing back and forth between the two because it makes things more universal. I love when my devices play friendly together. So this is definitely a part of that friendly ecosystem. But shipping for this begins on June 24th. But I'm curious though, what pair of headphones are you using when you're listening to media? Let me know down below in the comment section. I'm interested to see what kind of answers we get. I'll be down there in the comment section for a little bit after this video talking with you all. So I will see you there. And until the next one, as always, thanks for taking the time out. Let me check you out.